When I was younger, and this is not the point, I was what you consider like an absurd dreamer. I would try to be everything and anything. At some point, the president. Uh, uh, at some point, a movie star. My favorite, I wanted to be a comedian. Uh, I think I'm extremely funny. My mom only thinks I'm funny. But it's okay. I still, I'm, I'm, I'm working on it. But one thing that stuck with me from then to now was the fact that I was stressed so much about these dreams. Like crazy that a 10 year old was stressing about dreams. But I would every single day. And still today, um, I understand the weight of a dream, the almost recognizable weight of dreams. I think love and dreams are almost connected permanently and intimately. I believe that it's so much easier to dream when you have a believer on your side. I wrote this poem for my girlfriend, Bob, uh, because she fueled my dream and she pushed me to dream more. But also to inspire you all to believe in somebody and to love somebody. See what that takes to dream. I'm afraid of the weight of my hands. Afraid they be too light to be an oracle. Or prophet, I pray the office of. Hope I could see into the future by means of juju. Terror reading. Nostradamus or anything divine really. I have an undying loyalty to tomorrow. I apologize for my obsession with the future. I'm simply afraid of the way the wind blows. How it can take control of a blackbird's wings at its strength. I have no control of my wings, mostly. Everything is a breath of air. And it scares me. That I have nothing to hold on to but a mustard seed of faith. I don't know what the future holds. And this poem is admittance to the sturdiness of my dreams. I don't have it planned out. Simply learn to accept the shiver of survival and the sweat in my palms. The pulpit in my throat and the sunrise on my cheek this morning. She was more beautiful than ever. Found myself tucked into the cabin of her chest, resting away my nightmares, her skin at its brightness. Van Gogh's starry night, a jealous imitation of her frame. There are days where I don't want to dream any longer. Want to tuck my voice behind my larynx and be carted off by men in white, but everything about her is something to believe in. I can't ignore the grail at the crown of her lips. Her smile teaches me how to get out of bed most mornings, teaches me how to scream a declaration through cotton off. She inspired me, drowns men in libido. The way the word revolution muddies her swagger, how she does not give a care. All emotion and attitude, how she can throw her neck, roll her eyes, but still cry unhinged. Sturdy, how she falls for nothing. The only thing that she really believes in is me and God. But she still beautifully battles me. Her voice, the sound of contention, played through heart strings. Every morning she screams, get up. And I do it. Her hum, the distant response to an SOS after being left into a lurch. My 13th rib is a wishbone. I am a food stain. Her eyes, both crystal balls. I can't help but see forever in them. She is the closest thing to a dream. Awake.